Donald Trump's given his first comments following the news his former national security adviser, Michael Flynn, pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI. The president once again said there had been no collusion between his camp and Moscow. No, I'm not. And what has been shown is no collusion. No collusion. There's been absolutely, there's been absolutely no collusion, so we're very happy. Well, Flynn pleaded guilty on Friday to lying to the FBI about conversations that he had a year ago with Russia's then ambassador to the U.S. The former advisers also agreed to fully cooperate with the so-called Russia investigation. With more on that story, here's Caleb Morpin. We have Michael Flynn pleading guilty to charges of making false statements to federal agents. At this point, uh, he's facing a sentence of between zero and six months in jail, as well as a possible fine of up to $9,500. Um, now, of course, the mainstream media is in an uproar. Uh, there's talk about the Russia investigation. Uh, all kinds of things are being made in the press. This is being treated as a very big story. Let's recall how Michael Flynn stepped down as national security advisor. When he was serving in the Trump administration, uh, Mr. Flynn misled Vice President Pence. And now it appears that he's pled guilty to misleading federal agents. Now, at this point, um, uh, you know, the White House has come forward and said, look, this charge doesn't implicate anyone other than Michael Flynn. The false statements involved mirror the false statements to White House officials, which resulted in his resignation in February of this year. Nothing about the guilty plea or the charge implicates anyone other than Mr. Flynn. We've had several indictments at this point, individuals who misled federal officials, made false statements, and are now facing criminal charges. But as of yet, the collusion story isn't really materializing. Court filings reveal that Flynn contacted the Russian ambassador asking to delay or defeat a vote on a UN resolution involving Israel. They also allegedly discussed the response to the sanctions imposed by the Obama administration. Michael Flynn also said that he consulted senior Trump transition officials over those contacts. Former Russian envoy Sergei Kislyak, though, denied that he ever discussed sanctions with Flynn. I was instructed not to discuss the sanctions, and I assure you that I followed those instructions. We also don't bargain over this issue, because from the beginning we have considered it illegal and aggressive. Flynn's conversations with Kislyak potentially violate the centuries-old Logan Act. Now, this prohibits Americans from negotiating with foreign governments over existing disputes with the United States. But since the act was passed, not a single person has ever actually been successfully prosecuted under those rules. Political commentator Steve Maltzberg believes that Trump is unlikely to be badly damaged by this latest development. He lied to the FBI. Why he chose to lie about these meetings with, uh, with uh, Kislyak, I don't know, but he did, and he pleaded guilty for it. Now they're saying, oh, he's going to tell everything about Trump and Kushner. What? Tell what? None of this relates to collusion. Collusion. This is all uh, President-elect Trump. Uh, asking or, or someone on his staff saying, hey, reach out to foreign countries. By the way, the great Andy McCarthy, former federal prosecutor, writes today, it's commonplace for an incoming national security advisor to go to foreign countries and talk to his counterparts or reach them on the phone in anticipation of a new administration. There's nothing here that's, that's the, gonna get Trump or, or Kushner in trouble.